guys, it's Kimberly, and welcome back to my channel. So it's a different background, it's still my room, but just in a different, like, situation. Like, I usually film over there, but I'm trying something new. I think I like this, so I might start filming like this more often. I don't know. But anyways, <laughs> today I'm filming a video on, like, a cool way to apply makeup. I don't know if it works. I'm here to test it out with you guys, see if it works, and... Hi, say hi, say hi to my dog. So I just want to say I got inspired to do this video by uh, Beauty Vixen here on YouTube. And she made a YouTube video on like how to apply makeup with a condom. And like I'm not using a condom because I don't have a condom. <laughs> but like not even that. But I, yeah. <laughs> like it's too awkward for me. Uh, I'm instead using a plastic bag to apply my makeup and I searched this up on YouTube and nothing came up. So if you do know someone that did this and like I don't know before me, just make sure you like link them down below or something so I can give them credit because I'd love to give credit where credit is due. And until then, I guess I'm just gonna say it's mine but like I got inspired by Beauty Vixen. Yeah. <laughs> So there's two ways I'm going to try to attempt this. Like my first way, I already like pre-cut the bag and like tied it up. The first way I'm going to do it is I stuffed a beauty blender in the bag and like it's just, you know, like a regular like supermarket bag. And I'm going to apply my makeup with this. And then I have another bag which I haven't cut filled with lotion. Now I would use water, but the problem with water is I feel like it's too like runny. So it just like fall through the like cracks of the cracks. It'll just like, you know, slowly pour out and I feel like that's messy. If you're wondering what lotion I used to fill this up, it's, it's not really special, but it's the Aqua Kiss um, scent from Victoria's Secret. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it so I can make a little bit less noise with my scissors, my handy dandy scissors. And it'll be more like easier to apply, I guess. It looks so funny. <laughs> it's like a little pumpkin. So the foundation I'm going to be using is... The, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in Dewy Smooth and then the shade 225 Medium Buff. So this side of my face I'm going to use the lotion side and then this side of my face I'm going to use the Beauty Blender side. We'll see if it performs any differently or like, you know, like whatever. We're, we're just going to see what happens, okay? <laughs> so, we'll see. I'm kind of nervous, like I don't know how to like, should I apply it on like th the thing or should I like put it on my face and like blend it out. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, 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 <laughs> like not put a lot, oh, okay, that's a lot. And the purpose of like the bag, it's so like whatever's inside doesn't actually like suck up the product so you're using all the product that's on here and not just like some of it you know I'm scared but let's go guys um <laughs> this feels really weird and I'm like dabbing it because I don't know what else to do maybe I could rub it but I feel like that that would apply it unevenly unevenly <laughs> like it feels really nice actually like it's so like huh. like huh. <laughs> huh like it's hard to get in there but like I think that's the only problem at this point but overall like it applies nicely and quite evenly it doesn't really you know look bad I do need to apply a little bit more because there's basically nothing on here now th this part of my forehead oh I think I put too much it's gonna get all over my brow so I'm just gonna like show you guys a little bit better if you can see I dig it I dig it. <laughs> oh, and I am also applying uh, concealer. It's not just foundation, in case you were wondering. And I think I might set my face. 
we'll discuss that when we get there okay so not taking the beauty blender side let's see how this goes <laughs> there's obviously more air on this like I couldn't take out all the air but like I tried um <laughs> oh that's loud <laughs> so okay so I don't think it looks bad <laughs> please excuse my dog like she's a whore <laughs> Um, like, I don't think it looks bad. I just don't like it as much as I like this side. Or I didn't like the application process as much as I liked it on this side. So, like, I feel like I had to try harder to, like, reach certain places. And, like, I had to blend a little bit, like, harder just to, like, do it. Even though it was still pretty quickly. Like, it was still pretty quick. But, like, it's still not as great as this side, you know? Oh, and it was a little bit easier to get in between my, like, nose crack. <laughs> my, like, nose, the sides of my nose than it was on this side. Like, can you tell? Like, it was easier because there was more, like, it had a, a different shape to it than this one. Because this one had more, like, a round shape. So I couldn't really, like, get in there as much as I'd want, as much as I wanted to. But this one smelled good. <laughs> and it kind of just like sits like like this and it's so cute but overall I feel like they work the same so far they work the same but the lotion is more enjoyable and I guess the beauty blender one kind of goes into the little nooks and crannies of your face a little bit better than the other one so that's that now let's test out concealer. So I'm going to be taking two shades of concealer, which is the from the uh, Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This one's medium light neutral, and then I'm going to go ahead with just light neutral on top on both sides. I'm going to take the lotion what do I call this? Like the lotion bag? <laughs> and blend out the lotion side. <laughs> or in this case, try to. And you can dab it and it won't hurt at all. Like, it won't hurt. And it barely makes any noises. And you can also swipe it so you won't mess up your eye makeup. Like the dab swipe, the swipe dab, the dab swipe. Oh my god, someone kill me. So, the the concealer on this side is starting to look a little bit cakey, just a teeny bit. But I think if you blend it out a little bit more, it'll be alright. It'll be alright. I just wiped, like, my whole entire eyebrow away, like... It's not. I, didn't, I really didn't think this part through. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that blended out nicely. So now for the beauty blender side. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, I tried to not go into my eyeliner but it still happened so I'm gonna wipe off my eyebrow entirely so that's my face I'm going to go set it now 
with powder using these things, but I gotta go get the powder because I don't have it with me, so I'll be right back. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder to set our face today. The lotion side first. It's sticking quite decently. Not the most amazing sticking I would like, but it's okay, you know? Oh, okay. Oh, oh, it got on my eye. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is so awkward for me. My shirt. Ah! It like a whole chunk of it just fell on my shirt. Oh, okay. Oh, now taking the beauty blender side, I'm dipping that also into the translucent powder. I think this picked up less product, but let's see what happens. Yep, it definitely did pick up less product, but let's see. And we're done. I'm going to do the rest of my face and then let you like let you guys know what I think. Like the after all like experience slash do I think this is worth a try type of thing I'll be right back okay so I'm back this is the end result on my face okay so I'm here to give you feedback now I do look hella cakey throughout my whole face like it may not show on camera but in real life like in real life I look hella cakey and I'm creasing down here on both sides so you know I feel like this side looks better like physically like looks it appears better but like the sides of my my, my laugh lines like right here creased this side didn't but you can see like my pores like they're like and they look super cakey I think I prefer this this one, the one with the uh, lotion in it, then the beauty blender for applying it, but, but, the actual outcome of the look, I think I'd like the beauty blender better, just because the overall, like, finished look is better than with this one but like when you're applying it it's more satisfying with this one if that makes any sense so if you don't really care about how it looks rather than how it applies then i guess you'd go for this one but if you care about how it looks which is a most people thing then i'd go for this one so i don't know i feel like they work pretty decently for what is in here like, you know, it's not bad. I feel like it could have been worse. So, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what to say anymore because it's kind of like, well, this one applies nicely, but this one's like the great one. So, I think this one's the winner. Even though I like, I, I want this one to be the winner. But it didn't win, so it's this one. But the booty blender won. <laughs> Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And make sure to hit subscribe because... Yes, welcome. You can be part of whatever I've got going on over here. <laughs> and yes, so thanks so much for watching. Bye.